As the road to King of the Ring truly kicks off, the undefeated Aussie Bronson Reed takes on the visionary Seth freaking Rollins. One of these men are going to be on a collision course to Saturday night, June the 15th in New Orleans, Louisiana. A matchup against Kevin Owens for the prestigious WWE Championship hangs in the balance. Will Seth freaking Rollins get another round for the gold he lost back at WrestleMania or will the 5-0 Brunson Reed stake his claim as a player on Monday night? And ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the King of the Ring Tournament to commence. Later tonight, the 16-man bracket will kick off Eight men from Raw, eight men from SmackDown. The road to Smoothie King Center in the month of June begins here tonight when the badass Braun Breaker goes toe to toe against Baron Corbin in what is going to be a bruising first round matchup in the King of the Ring Tournament. And that is not all. The man who made his return to Raw in recent weeks, that being Dijak, is set to go one-on-one -on -one with the megastar, LA Knight, who looks to bounce back from his vengeance loss over eight days ago. LA Knight, Dijak, the king of the ring begins here tonight in Knoxville, Tennessee. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Championship! A big shout out to the new Monday Night Raw ring announcer, Alicia Taylor, as we kick things off in the biggest way possible. <laughs> In her hometown of Knoxville, Tennessee, the EST of WWE is set to clash with the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. The Women's Championship hangs in the balance. You saw last week, right here on Monday Night Raw, Bianca Belair victorious against Chelsea Green. But we also look back at the highlights from several weeks ago when Rhea Ripley was running rough shot over the women's division. One of the women she took out in the process was the EST, Bianca Belair. Well, Bianca has not forgotten. And of course, Rhea went on to win back the WWE Women's Championship nine nights ago in Bakersfield at Vengeance. But a short turnaround for Rhea, defending the gold, and the first time in this new reign, and the odds may be stacked against the Nightmare in Bianca's hometown. But never bet against the Judgment Day's Eradicator. The woman who nine nights ago turned away Liv Morgan in the trilogy fight. The new WWE Women's Champion. Like her, love her, hate her, you damn well better respect her. Rhea Ripley without any assistance, winning the trilogy fight nine nights ago. And just because Rhea holds that championship gold does not mean you can count out Bianca Belair. It has been two years since Bianca Belair last held a singles championship, whether it be here on Monday Night Raw or over on Friday Night SmackDown. Bianca drafted back to the red brand last month and she has been laser focused on one goal, getting an opportunity to become champion. She has raked up victories over Zia Lee, Chelsea Green in a very resilient performance last week from the EST. And all roads have led her to tonight. Thomas Boyle in Arena, Knoxville, Tennessee. Rhea Ripley walking into enemy territory. And it is very hard to pick a favorite with these two juggernauts of the women's division set to clash on a very high profile evening here on Monday Night Raw. The road to King of the Ring begins later tonight. Number one contenders will be crowned. The tournament begins, but we kick things off with the WWE Women's Championship on the line. No Judgment Day accompanying Rhea Ripley tonight. When that title's on the line, one thing you gotta give Rhea is that she has always walked down the aisle alone. Will Bianca be able to overcome the nightmare? That is the question we await answers to. Introducing the challenger from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair! And her opponent from Africa. 
This women's championship match kicking things off here on Raw tonight is brought to you by Velocity, which is live on TikTok each and every Wednesday afternoon, courtesy of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night Smackdown. Some great action over on the No Nation Gaming TikTok each and every Wednesday on Velocity, but we focus in on your opening contest here tonight in Knoxville, Tennessee. Will the challenger overcome the champion, Bianca Belair, Rhea Ripley? It doesn't get any bigger to kick things off on Monday Night Raw. I am looking forward to this one. Who is gonna get the going going in the early moments? Rhea Ripley, one of the strongest the women's division has to offer, but somebody who may just be stronger is the woman she opposes tonight. The strongest, fastest, toughest, and one of the best that ever do it in the women's division. You better put some respect on Bianca Belair's name, that's for damn sure. Multiple time women's champion in her day. Last championship she held was about a year ago on Friday Night SmackDown, one half of the women's tag team champions. Will she be able to overcome the intimidating Rhea Ripley tonight? Rhea Ripley looms an ominous presence over the women's division like no other. And the division has felt that firsthand over the last month and change, ever since Rhea Ripley's pursuit of the gold she originally lost at WrestleMania began again. And now Rhea looking to take her time and play some mind games with Bianca Belair along the way. Bianca, I'm sure, is looking to push the pace in this matchup while Rhea Ripley's best case scenario here tonight is gonna be able to take the hometown crowd of Knoxville, Tennessee out of this thing. Deflate the audience deflate the atmosphere, may have a better chance at keeping down her rough and tough challenger in Bianca Belair. Rhea Ripley looking confident here tonight. Hot off the heels of winning that title just nine nights ago in Bakersfield, California at vengeance against the former champion, Liv Morgan. Bianca Belair back into the ring and Rhea Ripley taking her time. Allowing Bianca to enter the ring on her own accord, rushed her with the lariat. May have given the EST too much time, however. Bianca Belair, not somebody that Rhea Ripley should be taking lightly here tonight. Because if she does, Bianca may find the window of opportunity to hit that kiss of death, that KOD, and take away the championship from Rhea Ripley, the title that she was obsessed with winning back for weeks here on Monday Night Raw. Look at Bianca. This is the strength we are talking about that makes the EST so dangerous. Rhea Ripley down, Bianca going for an early cover here, and I think Bianca knew she wasn't going to get the victory, but may just be trying to get into the psyche of Rhea. Remind Rhea Ripley, you better not take me lightly, or I will capitalize. Look at the press slam there. And now the agility of the EST. The hometown challenger looking to make the most of this arising opportunity. Rhea Ripley rolling to the outside. Champion's advantage, of course. Bianca Belair looking to close the distance. And on the outside of the ring, plants the champion here in Thomas Boylan Arena. A high-profile evening on hand here on Monday Night Raw. Bianca Belair looking to make the most. Rhea Ripley creating a little separation, and down goes Bianca right into the barricade. And Rhea just stomping a mutt hole in her challenger tonight. I'm sure Rhea Ripley not pleased with having to defend her title so soon after winning it back at Vengeance. But duty calls as a champion as she is finding out tonight. The target is on the Nightmare's back. Multiple times already in this contest, just trying to get rid of Bianca Belair at ringside, but the EST coming out charging. Rhea Ripley trying to dominate in this matchup as best as she can, but I don't know if there's any dominating Bianca Belair. This is a woman who became within inches of being the one to defeat Shayna Baszler over on SmackDown for the Women's World Championship, not once but twice a couple of months ago. Unfortunately, came up short in some close calls 
But who's to say Bianca Belair's night isn't going to be tonight? Where she becomes a champion all over again. Easier said than done when you were in there with the eradicator of the Judgment Day, who is certainly enjoying the fruits of her labor. Maybe not for long. Do not turn your back on the hometown challenger tonight. Bianca Belair, I'm sure, is more motivated than ever, not just to win the championship, but to win it here in her city. And a nice press slam there by the challenger. Bianca Belair looking good. Rhea Ripley not as she is down and out momentarily. The ST's got to capitalize here. We saw a very resilient effort by Bianca last week on Monday Night Raw. Even when you thought her back was against the wall in that fight against Chelsea Green, Bianca rising like a phoenix to get the victory. There was ever a night where she needs to keep that same energy. It is tonight in Knoxville, Tennessee. Oof! Rhea Ripley out of the way and a massive big boot to the jawline of the challenger. And now Rhea looking to once again use her strength and certainly her intimidation factor to her advantage. But Bianca Belair will not be denied. You're going to be tough to find somebody who's going to be able to keep Rhea Ripley down. But Bianca may be the one KOD already to win the title here in her hometown. No, Rhea Ripley with the shoulder up. Man, oh man. Bianca Belair going for the kill early. The KOD does not do it. Rhea Ripley still got enough left in the tank, but now Bianca trying to take out the lower abdomen and the back of the challenger. Or excuse me, of the champion. Rhea Ripley able to survive moments ago, but will she be able to make her way out of this predicament? Looks like she will momentarily, but the damage has got to be done on the Nightmare. Have a look at Rhea. That KOD might have just woke up Rhea Ripley. Rhea's been taking Bianca a little bit lightly so far in this matchup. Saw her just throwing her around at ringside a couple of times. Almost not taking the challenger as a serious threat, but I think that KOD might have kicked Rhea into high gear, and now Rhea Ripley is looking to bring the pressure. Rhea Ripley confident as all hell. That's for damn sure. One thing Rhea Ripley may live to regret is the chaos that she brought upon the women's division several weeks ago. And certainly the chaos that she brought upon her challenger tonight. But maybe Rhea Ripley's gonna get her way no matter what. Face first off the canvas, unfortunately Bianca Belair. Unfortunately for Rhea Ripley, Bianca Belair is still into this matchup. Rhea almost looking frustrated momentarily that Bianca Belair has still got some fight left in her. Rhea thought she took out Knoxville, Tennessee. Thought she took out Bianca Belair. Maybe not just yet. Great strength, especially as we get into some deep waters in this contest. And neither of these women giving an inch. Once you think somebody is in firm control of the matchup, the tides shift within instants. Rhea going to the outside. Bianca Belair looking to meet her there on the apron. Both these women in a precarious situation. If I ever saw one, and the challenger's getting ragdolled down to the floor of Thomas Boylan Arena. And now Rhea looking to drop the hammer on the challenger. Rhea Ripley looking to bring her presence to Knoxville, Tennessee tonight. The doom and gloom of the Judgment Day. Maybe coming over the homecoming of Bianca Belair. Referees at a count of five right now. Asia Smith calling it right down the middle. And Rhea Ripley putting her foot on the gas pedal at ringside. Count of seven. Wait a minute here. Rhea going for a rip tie on the outside of the squared circle. Asia Smith at a count of eight. Rhea's back into the ring. Oh, come on, not this way. This is how Rhea's gonna try to retain the championship. That is a load of crap. You have gotta be kidding me. A great matchup here at Bianca's hometown, and Rhea doesn't give a damn, surviving, in my eyes, barely Bianca Belair tonight. 
with a damn count out victory. Here is your winner. Oh, wait a minute. Hold, hold on there. I don't mean to interrupt Alicia Taylor, but now Liv Morgan's out on the stage. The former women's champion eyeing up the woman who just retained her title. And Rhea Ripley, Bianca Belair, pissed off back inside the ring. A KOD to Rhea Ripley. And for good. Well, dare I say, Rhea Ripley deserved that. She wasn't taking Bianca Belair seriously. The first KOD woke the nightmare up, and then Rhea escaped Bianca tonight. This situation is far, far from over on my estimations. The Raw and SmackDown joint production of the 2024 King of the Ring is coming your way Saturday night, June the 15th, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time for New Orleans, Louisiana. And speaking of the King of the Ring, the tournament begins right here, right now. 16 men, eight from Raw, Eight from SmackDown. They're gonna battle it out over the next several weeks on the road to Smoothie King Center in New Orleans, Louisiana. The winner, the last man standing, not only will wear the crown of the king and cement their name in the history books, but will punch their ticket to the main event of SummerSlam this August to challenge for their brand's world championship. Who will be the 2024 King of the Ring? Following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City, weighing in at 285 pounds. Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin marching down the aisle. A man who has once wore the crown himself, but this year a whole different. Wait a minute, what the hell's? What the hell's going on in the parking lot? That's Dominic Mysterio, that's Jey Uso! Well, of course these two men were brought away in the ring last week thanks to the events of vengeance, and it looks like Dominic Mysterio is trying to exact some vengeance on main event Jey Uso! But we need to get some help out there. I don't know what the hell's going on. Those two men are set to go one-on-one -on -one next week at All-Star Raw in the first round of this tournament. We need to get some help back there and get those two men separated before somebody comes out seriously hurt, but let's just try to focus in on the matchup we got at hand. And his opponent from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds. As good old JR once said, this man is a real blue chipper. The badass, Braun Breaker, has been making waves for quite some time, and especially up again. Well, this thing is still not taking, Dominic Mysterio and Jey Uso going at it in the parking lot, or is this going at it? Is this just an attack? Is this just a beatdown by Dirty Dom? Well, Jimmy Uso, of course, can cuss back at vengeance, has not been here at Raw for several weeks now. Jey Uso fighting a battle all alone. That is absolutely ridiculous. But at this point, I expect nothing less from the Judgment Day, and especially that bastard, Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Intervened back in vengeance, cost the Usos the tag team titles, and now what we just saw. Nonetheless, let's get some help back there for Jey Uso, and hopefully we have an update later tonight here on Raw, but the King of the Ring first round has officially begun. The bell has sounded. Baron Corbin, Braun Breaker, your first matchup of several that are going to contest in this tournament over the next several weeks. As we are talking about, as these two men were entering the squared circle, you look at Baron Corbin, a man who once held the crown of the king in 2019. But of course, the King of the Ring tournament just means so much more in 2024. As we saw last year, Austin Theory, current SmackDown property, Winning the tournament, going on the challenge for the World Heavyweight Championship. 
last year at SummerSlam. Here he currently won half of the WWE Tag Team Champions. Certainly a night that he cemented his name in the history books. And that is really what is on the line over the next several of weeks. Not only to wear that crown and to really put your name alongside a long list of Hall of Famers and future Hall of Famers, but that championship matchup that hangs in the balance in the main event of SummerSlam in August. Something that all 16 of the superstars competing in this tournament want to achieve. Of course, this Friday night on SmackDown, we will see El Idolo, Andrade, taking on Chad Gable, as well as the Cruiserweight Champion, J.D. McDonough, 1v1 against the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. That is then, this is now, and kicking things off for Monday Night Raw, Baron Corbin and Braun Breaker. Breaker has really been making some waves, not just over the last year since his main roster debut, but just look at the last few months. Whether it's been on SmackDown or here on Monday Night Raw, maneuvers like that are bringing Braun Breaker to the promised land. This is a man who owns singles victories over the rated R superstar Edge, the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, the Apex Predator Randy Orton, the Giant in Omos, and just nine nights ago turned away the street champ Solo Sokoa in an extremely physical matchup at Vengeance. Now Braun Breaker looking to get through Baron Corbin tonight. These two men, some tough SOBs if I ever saw them. Baron Corbin, former Golden Gloves boxer, Braun Breaker, former two-time NXT champion. Braun Breaker, somebody who was on the cusp of great things, and Baron Corbin, somebody who was trying to find his way back to great things. Who is gonna get the wish that they so desire, and it may be Braun Breaker, a spear on Baron Corbin, but Baron Corbin able to get the shoulder up. Has Breaker done enough damage in this matchup? I don't know about that, but Breaker is certainly fired up after that spear, knowing some damage has at least done, although he didn't get the three count. And now a little classic maneuver, a little Steiner recliner. Breaker going back to his roots. Will Baron Corbin give up and allow Breaker a spot in the quarterfinals of the King of the Ring tournament? Corbin trying to hold on. Stiff elbow and takes out the knee. Pulling the rug out. Underneath the feet of Braun Breaker. Sending on the ropes that time, and Baron Corbin. Make no mistake, it can be a powerhouse inside of that ring. Corbin over the last several weeks was in pursuit of the Intercontinental Championship, unfortunately fell short. Nine nights ago at Vengeance, the championship remains with Sami Zayn. Corbin trying to find his way back, as we mentioned, to the promised land, and it could start here tonight. Look at Braun Breaker, I think, thought he got rid of Baron Corbin. Corbin trying to sneak up on the badass to no avail. Now Corbin trying to get back into this matchup. I think Corbin knows some serious damage might have been done off that spear a few minutes ago and is trying to play catch up. Deep six. And one step closer to the quarterfinals, but unfortunately did not cross the finish line just yet. Aaron Corbin's got to try to find a way to keep this young blue chipper down. Braun Breaker is intense inside of that ring. And every man who has stepped into the squared circle with him has found that out. For the first time tonight, Corbin is seeing what Breaker feels like between the ropes. And it can't be a good feeling. It's got to be a hard-hitting, intense one. But Corbin trying to survive the onslaught. Now Baron Corbin in hot pursuit, going for the right hand. I don't think got all of it, but got enough to shake the cobwebs of the badass. Three. Baron Corbin, whatever he's got in mind, can't be. Good for Braun Breaker. Breaker sending Corbin off the apron that time. Now Breaker going to the top and miscalculates it. Baron Corbin lying in wait. A great reversal there by a former champion across Raw and SmackDown. Baron Corbin looking to rake the rewards. Trying to go to the quarterfinals, not just yet. Great reversal moments ago, but not enough damage done as Baron Corbin now looking to stack the offense. Ron Breaker, as we mentioned, involved in a very physical matchup with Solo Sokoa nine nights ago. Baron Corbin involved in a tables matchup for the Intercontinental title where he was put through a piece of wood. 
You gotta imagine neither of these men are still feeling anywhere near 100%, but they're gonna fight like their lives depend on it. And a spot in the King of the Ring is certainly does. And again, Corbin getting set off the apron. This could be the next step in the young career of Braun Breaker. Or it could be a breakout comeback for Baron Corbin. Free in some distance, but Braun Breaker looking to close the gap. Look at the strength. Press slam. Down he goes. Baron Corbin looking up at the lights. And that's going to be a victory for Braun Breaker. Braun Breaker moving on. And a physical. Oh, what the hell? Carrying Cross. Well, Cross, who has had his issues with Baron Corbin, ambushing the downed opponent. But here comes Breaker back inside the ring, not allowing Karrion Cross to spoil his victory lap. And either intentionally or maybe even unintentionally, saving Baron Corbin from a beatdown. Well, some respect being shown there after a physical altercation, but the story is this. Braun Breaker, the first man to move on to the quarterfinals. Baron Corbin's name fades to black as we are left currently with 15 superstars in the King of the Ring Tournament. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way exclusively every Wednesday to the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Brawl and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. A new season in the WWE is upon us, and you haven't seen anything yet. Don't miss Velocity every single Wednesday only on TikTok. Who will meet Braun Breaker in the quarterfinals of the King of the Ring Tournament? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California. Weighing in at 241 pounds. Every single Wednesday, we are live on TikTok for Velocity. And courtesy of Friday Night SmackDown, you can tune in this week to see the ever-exciting Axiom go one-on-one -on -one with Imperium's Ludwig Kaiser. You can't try to talk over the WWE Universe when LA Knight's making his way to the ring. Nonetheless, Axiom Kaiser this Wednesday, only on TikTok, only on Velocity. But right here in Knoxville, Tennessee, the King of the Ring Tournament continues. And LA Knight looking to bounce back from his loss and vengeance, but it's certainly a tall, literally tall task ahead as he goes 1v1 with Dijak. And his opponent from Worcester, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 270 pounds, Dijak! Well, Dijak, a former World Tag Team Champion who went back down to NXT around this time last year and really found a new path for himself inside the squared circle. But drafted to Monday Night Raw last month, and he's made a couple of matches inside of the ring since then, but unfortunately the result has not gone his way. Last time we saw him, he went 1v1 with Seth freaking Rollins, and LA Knight had a front row seat for that matchup, made sure Seth Rollins didn't escape Dijak. And tonight there will be no escape, as Dijak is now going one-on-one -on -one with LA Knight, and I think neither of these men are gonna back down from the challenge, especially with the stakes that hang in the balance. We saw Braun Breaker advance moments ago. The winner of this matchup will meet Breaker in two weeks time in the quarterfinals of the King of the Ring Tournament. Who that is gonna be, we're gonna find out right here, right now, as LA Knight hot out of the gate, just as he did at Vengeance nine nights ago against Seth freaking Rollins. But you noticed LA Knight hesitant to get up after that hangman's neck breaker and was nursing the previously injured rib cage. 
Unlike Vengeance, LA Knight not coming down the aisle tonight with tape around those previously injured ribs. My goodness, Dijak, give me a damn moment to talk. LA Knight may not be coming into this matchup 100%. The simple story there. And obviously, a loss at Vengeance against Seth freaking Rollins that he's looking to take on the chin and move on tonight in the King of the Ring tournament. Dijak clearly not letting up in this early onslaught. Off the top goes the megastar. Dijak is extremely hungry for victory. We've seen him in action not once but twice since his Monday Night Raw return. First, over on Velocity on TikTok, coming up short against the badass Braun Breaker, and then just a few weeks ago, coming up short against the visionary Seth freaking Rollins. Is tonight the night Dijak turns it all around against the megastar LA Knight? So far, it certainly looks to be that way. LA Knight had that hangman's neck breaker off the opening moments, but it's been all Dijak ever since as the big man, agile as all hell, comes off the top, and again, Asai Moonsault. Man, who the hell told Dijak it was minute to win it? This guy has not let up. There's no special prize on hand for the sooner you get the match done, but it can certainly make some waves. Dijak going into the corner. LA Knight on spaghetti legs. What a boot! Dijak gonna move on! And the Mega Star, with enthusiasm as much as he can muster up, getting the shoulder off the canvas. But what is left in LA Knight? And to the fury from Dijak, who's going for the choke slam. LA Knight creating some distance and now is in much need of a comeback. As we mentioned a few minutes ago, LA Knight looking to take that loss to Seth freaking Rollins on the chin and try to move on tonight. Get back in the winning ways and start a possible road to main eventing SummerSlam for the WWE Championship. Easier said than done. Already in the first round of this tournament, LA Knight is clearly having his hands full. And again, you gotta wonder the condition of the megastar coming into this matchup. Just because there's no tape on the ribs doesn't mean they ain't hurting him. But even if they are, he's gotta push through the pain as we saw right there. Knoxville, Tennessee behind the loudmouth, behind the defiant, behind the megastar tonight. A man who held the Intercontinental Championship from July of 2023 all the way up till March of this year. LA Knight hungry to take the next step to be a part of the main event conversation here on Monday Night Raw. Just because vengeance didn't go his way doesn't mean tonight won't. Coming off the top with the axe hammer. LA Knight really trying to tame Dijak right now who has been in control. This is the pace LA Knight I think needs to fight. Dijak was foot on the gas pedal if we've ever saw it. 100 miles a minute. If that's how he likes to operate, we ain't one to question. Might have burned himself out, however. I think my eardrums here at Thomas Boylan Arena just blew out. Into the ropes, going for the elbow drop. Nobody home off the delivery. And another boot. That's gonna do it. Knockout blow. Dijak's going for the kill. Could be going for a choke slam. Again, LA Knight creates distance. Last ditch effort. Blood, force, trauma. No rest for the weary. These two men throwing heavy shots tonight. It wasn't a long fight, but it was a grueling one. And LA Knight is a survivor. The megastar bouncing back from that loss nine nights ago, and he's moving on in the 2024 King of the Ring. Here is your winner, L.A. Knight. Man, I feel like I need a breather just after watching that. These two men going at each other like two hungry bulls. Dijak leaving it all inside the ring tonight. And Knoxville, Tennessee, rallying behind the megastar. Well, we now know two weeks from tonight, 
Braun Breaker will meet LA Knight in the quarterfinals of the King of the Ring tournament. So much more action to be had in this prestigious tournament over the next several weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to take you back to earlier tonight. Cameras cut into the parking lot where Judgment Day's dirty Dominic Mysterio ambushed main event Jey Uso. Of course, this was stemming from the events of Vengeance nine nights ago, and of course, Jay ambushed Dominic Mysterio last week after his victory, trying to enact some revenge for losing the tag team titles. These two men, originally set to go one-on-one -on -one in the King of the Ring tournament next week, Dominic Mysterio trying to get an edge, again ambushing Jay in the parking lot and instituting this unnecessary and uncomfortable beatdown over main event Jay Uso. Of course, we know Jimmy already on the shelf with a concussion, and I can't believe I have to say this, but Jay Uso's joining them. Jay Uso still undisclosed injuries, but unfortunately, we're getting news that he ain't going to be able to compete. Main event Jay Uso is out of the King of the Ring tournament thanks to that bastard, Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Unfortunately, that is the case at hand, and we now look to next week at All Star Raw on Memorial Day. Dirty Dominic Mysterio will compete in the King of the Ring tournament. And now he goes up against a mystery opponent. Who's going to fill the slot against Dom? We find out live next week. But on a more exciting note, next week also marks the in-ring return of the Second City Saint, CM Punk, as we go to our WrestleMania rematch against the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, in the first round of the King of the Ring Tournament. And as we saw last week here on Raw, the OC picking up a six-man tag team victory over DIY and Sami Zayn. Well, that all leads to next week as the phenomenal AJ Styles challenges Sami Zayn one-on-one -on -one for the Intercontinental Championship. All-Star Raw shaping up to be a legendary one. And speaking of legends, not one but two legends on their way back to the red brand. Now. Next week, the 25-time tag team champions across the globe, Bubba Ray and Devon, the Dudley Boys, return to WWE live at All-Star Raw. All of that action is coming your way next week on Memorial Day from the Frost Bank Center in San Antonio, Texas. It is All-Star Raw, and we are going live at 5 p.m. Eastern time as the King of the Ring tournament continues. The Dudley Boys are back, and the Intercontinental Championship will be on the line. But who stakes their claim as the number one contender? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Black Forest, South Australia. Weighing in at 330 pounds, Bronson Reed. Big Bronson Reed, the big Aussie has been undefeated since his WWE return and Monday Night Raw debut back in the month of March. This former NXT North American champion has been sending tidal waves throughout Monday Night Raw. Tsunamis, if we so say. But now Reed looks to take the next step. If he can get through the visionary, Reed stands across from Kevin Owens in New Orleans with the biggest opportunity of his career at stake. And of course, that is easier said than done. Brunson Reed has been extremely impressive, and as we mentioned, undefeated. But tonight, his tallest task to date, the visionary, the revolutionary, and a man who has always found a way to win, Seth freaking Rollins. And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa. Weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins! 
A more honorable fight for Kevin Owens. I'm sure he would choose Brunson Reed, but a more personal fight. I gotta bet Kevin Owens is eyeing one with Seth freaking Rollins. Last week on Raw, Rollins put Kevin Owens through the announce table right here at ringside. And I am sure the prize fighter has been replaying that image each and every night since. Seth Rollins lost the WWE Championship on Sunday night, March the 3rd at WrestleMania. And he has been awaiting a one-on-one -on -one occasion with Kevin Owens once more ever since. Will Rollins run things back from the grandest stage in New Orleans, Louisiana next month? Or will tonight mark the next step in Big Brunson Reed's young career? And here we go. Reed Rollins locking horns in your Monday Night Raw main event. And of course, I say young career for Big Brunson Reed because he has only been around these Monday Night Raw hallowed halls for so long. But make no mistake about it, world traveled superstar, championships across the globe. Big Brunson Reed has made his presence felt everywhere he has been and has certainly made his presence felt here on Monday Night Raw. So far, I'd say Brunson Reed's most impressive victory came nine nights ago against the Nigerian giant Omas at Vengeance. But tonight could be one step bigger. So far, Seth Rollins finding out firsthand why Reed has been so dominant since his Monday Night Raw debut. The big Aussie looking strong and Seth Rollins is feeling the brunt of it. Rollins, of course, victorious back at Vengeance as well as we discussed in our previous encounter with LA Knight and Dijak. Rollins picking up with the victory over the megastar. Both these men, like Seth Rollins or not, deserving challengers, but only one man is going to challenge Kevin Owens on the 15th of June. And that's what Rollins may need to do tonight. Take things to the air, try to be as agile as he can and try to ground the big man on more than one occasion. Brunson Reed has thrown his opponents from pillar to post, even had feats of strength that we didn't deem possible against the Nigerian giant Omas nine nights ago in Bakersfield. Rollins has got to try to find a way to counteract it and soar through the skies of Knoxville, Tennessee may be his best option. As he comes off the top, Brunson Reed down momentarily. It's been a great night of action here on Monday Night Raw as the road to the King of the Ring live premiere event continues. Of course, Rhea Ripley, not in the most entertaining fashion, I'll bite, retaining her women's championship at the top of the hour against the hometown superstar, Bianca Belair. Some unfinished business there, the King of the Ring tournament already hot and heavy. And now we have our number one contenders matchup on hand. This all in the lead up to next week's all-star Raw going to be live at 5 p.m. Eastern time on Memorial Day for what you saw previously is going to be a stacked night of action. Now Brunson Reed getting back into this with a big time suplex. I'll tell you what, taking a suplex is already not the most exciting thing to be on the receiving end of, but it's got to hurt like hell that much more when you're in there with the big man as Reed, look at the speed, the agility, Rollins going for a ride. I'll tell you what, Rollins in for the fight of his life tonight. Reed, hungry for this opportunity, wants to stand across from Kevin Owens in Smoothie King Center next month. Oh no. Going from bad to worse for the visionary. A superplex by Big Brunson Reed. To punch his ticket to Nola, not just yet. Knoxville, Tennessee, an appreciation of the efforts of these two Monday Night Raw superstars. A certified future Hall of Famer in Seth freaking Rollins. And a man who is trying to build a legacy here on Monday Night Raw. Two very different stories, but one similar goal in mind. A matchup with Kevin Owens hangs in the balance. Rollins looking for that WrestleMania rematch that he's been waiting for since Sunday night, March the 3rd. Reed on the outside once more off that ripcord knee. Definitely might have had his bell rung that time. And a cross body over the top. What did we say earlier? Going to the skies may be Seth Rollins' best chance 
at keeping down the big Aussie. Reed down at ringside momentarily. It might have just had the wind knocked out of him. Sent gut first. Where do those diamond plated steel steps? Might have even hit the corner of it. Now Rollins trying to continue this offense on the outside and stack that offense against a bigger, stronger competitor. Bronson Reed looking worse for wear. Maybe the worst we've seen him since his Monday Night Raw debut. Rollins back into the ring. Looking to strike while the iron's hot. Reed caught between a rock and a hard place. A curb stomp by Seth freaking Rollins. And Rollins is on his way to Smoothie King Center. Here is your winner. A great fight by the big man, but Seth freaking Rollins spoiling that undefeated streak. And now the visionary punches his ticket for a WrestleMania rematch that at that point in time will be over three months in the making. Kevin Owens, Seth Rollins, Lockhorns one-on-one -on -one once more on Saturday night, June the 15th for the WWE Championship. Kevin Owens in the ring. Well, Rollins put Owens through the announce table last week. And now that we know, Rollins will fight Kevin Owens next month at Smoothie King Center. Owens looking to exact some revenge. Kevin Owens has never been a man to forgive and has never been a man to forget. And now he's got his eyes locked on the man he meets next month. Well, these two men I don't think are going to wait for New Orleans, Louisiana on the 15th of June amongst the WWE Universe here in Knoxville. Kevin Owens looking to brawl away with Seth freaking Rollins trying to get the hell out of Dodge. Oof, Rollins with an elbow here. This could be dangerous for both of these men surrounded by the WWE Universe with concrete floor below them. Injuries could happen. The WWE Championship matchup could be in jeopardy right now. And Kevin Owens was not going to wait all that time until Smoothie King Center next month to get his revenge on the man who put him through the announce table seven nights ago. We have got a brawl on our hands amongst this Knoxville, Tennessee audience. And what the hell? Oh, wait, 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 come back to the ring. Come back to the ring. The Nigerian giant Omos is ambushing Brunson Reed. What the hell is going on? Well, Kevin Owens trying to get even with Seth Rollins. I can't knock the WWE Champion. I don't condone it, and I certainly don't condone this. Omos lost to Bronson Reed nine nights ago at Bakersfield, and the Giant is not satisfied. The hell does he need a table for? Amongst all the stakes and the great action we have seen tonight has been some anarchy and some disorder as Brunson Reed is slammed right through a table. Well, that is not how we wanted to end Monday Night Raw tonight. Seth Rollins, your number one contender, and it goes from bad to worse. We try to look forward to next week, Memorial Day. We're gonna be live at 5 p.m. Eastern time for one of the biggest roles of 2024, All-Star Raw. We'll see you there. Good night from Knoxville.